welcome back, you connoisseurs of fine grass. I am Ogaz, and Skyhook dropped their first lawn mowing simulator patch since launch. Now, the patch does bring the game to version 1.0.0.10, a subtle revision, but nonetheless important. So it's been good to get some insights into the development of the game, and I'm going to endeavor to keep doing these updates about LMS as it progresses. In any event, be sure to stop by the LMS Discord server and say hello. There's some great people in there with some great advice. And whilst a lot of people are asking for new content, locations, and all sorts of new features for this game, I think it's important that we curb our expectations for the updates to come. I think the preceding updates will be looking at bug fixes, adjustments, and of course, progressively moving into elements like new content, such as weed whackers and materials moving forward. That said, the development team is a headcount of 20, so we need to, as I said, curb our expectations, I think, to a certain extent. Now, let's take a look at the fixes for this particular patch update. There's a series of fixes for both PC and Xbox. There are some issues, however, that do remain outstanding, and I think I'll highlight those at the end of this video. So first things first, windowed and full screen toggle has now been added, which is a great addition, thank you. Ultra widescreen support has also been added. UWS is now there available for users. Though there is some limitations, I have been seeing some people with black shaded banding on the sides of their screen, and where taskbars are still appearing. So there's a few, I think, niggly things perhaps that need adjusting there, but it is good to see UWS support finally in the game for PC players. Uh, the separate inversion is now available. So historically, the inversion was all tied together for controllers. Now, of course, you can set inversion for your different cameras, your first person, your third person, and of course, a separate camera inversion for your walking around. Next up was the striper button that's now been added as a notification, which is very helpful because it wasn't really very clear how to stripe before. If you like striping, of course, do make sure you jump into my striping guide and you'll be able to see what you can do in the game. Next up was the corrected uh, loan interest amounts. There's been some adjustments made to loan interest which were incorrect in the game. Those have been updated. The next line item was relating to a pause menu bug, which was actually a, a pretty big bug for Xbox primarily and PC players. And if you performed a certain function in the test drive, you were not able to see the start menu later on in the game. That has now been addressed and it should work for you perfectly. Uh, Steam achievements not saving correctly. Boy oh boy, this has been a big one for a lot of people, including myself. The Steam achievements are not synchronizing, or should I say they are synchronizing, but when you leave the game and restart, they are resyncing again every time you start, and there's been inconsistencies with what people are achieving. I believe there is still some issues around that. The patch notes say it has been fixed, but we're still waiting to see some updates around that from the dev team. There are still definitely some inconsistencies there, because I have earned well over probably 60-70% of these achievements and I'm currently showing at about 10 of 42. So there is still some things to iron out there so your patience obviously will be needed. Next up was mower deck with descriptions. No big deal, just some quick adjustments made to mower deck with descriptions inside the menus. There was also an issue with the castle tower, a bit of a collision bug where the camera was panning underneath the ground. That has now been fixed and resolved. Now for ongoing issues, as I mentioned earlier, the Steam achievements tracking is still inconsistent, so I expect to hear more from the devs on that one. The Xbox system resume bug, which does occur for Xbox players, is still continuing. Now what's actually happening is if you resume your game on the Xbox, you are unable to mow the grass on the recurring job. What you must do is actually close the game completely in the Xbox dashboard and not rely on the system resume feature for now. Uh, the devs are working on this, but more news will come for that shortly. Another ongoing issue relates to non-Xbox controllers. There is a bit of an issue where some non-Xbox controllers actually prevent the game from launching. The game actually launches in a hung state. If you unplug your non-Xbox controller, uh, then the game should launch correctly. I believe it launches fine with Xbox and PS4 controllers, though I've seen inconsistent advice from that. So bear that in mind, if you have any issues launching, unplug your controller, try again. Uh, mouse and keyboard controls. Now there has been a lot of feedback from the community for those that love playing with mouse and keyboard, but the sensitivity is just not quite there. It's very difficult to drive and I've made those criticisms myself as well. The devs are looking at ways in which they might be able to address that, perhaps having like a, a toggle system for the throttle where you're notching it up notch by notch, something like that. I don't know what it's going to look like, but the devs are researching. No news on that just yet. 
Uh, rubbish contract payments remain inconsistent. There are some inconsistencies there with rubbish contract payments that we're seeing, and a lot of us have seen that in the career. Now, last points for this video are just some general points for you to remember. Not so much massive bugs, but more considerations in your game. Uh, Steam saved games are not cloud saved at the moment in this game. So if you are copying or reinstalling a game, make sure you back up your save location folders before you do that. I know that sounds like something from, from the past, but it is a, a, just a nice reminder. Some community members have reinstalled for various reasons and have lost their save file because of that. So just bear that in mind, back up the file. I've put the location for where that file is up on the screen. Back up that folder and keep that handy if you do intend to do any reinstallations or moving your game to another computer. That doesn't apply, by the way, to Xbox, because as you probably know, Xbox has a default cloud save function built into the platform. Another general point is about wheels. Elemis currently supports the Logitech G29, the Logitech G920, and the Logitech G923. These are essentially wheels that are compatible with Logitech's G-Hub drivers. So just bear that in mind, if you have a G25, a G27, or any other wheels from Thrustmaster, Fenatec, etc., these wheels will not work for now. The devs are working on increasing the support scope for that, and they're working hard to do that, but for now, the only wheels that will work on PC are the three I mentioned, the G29, G920, the G923. And my last point for today is a lot of questions have been raised about there being two team members. Why is this a limit? Well, the reality is the game has 31 rotational locations. There are five days in a week and of course five contracts offered per day. If you were to up the number of employees for this, you would actually break the game. You would see an obscene amount of rotation occurring, you would see jobs regularly, and what would actually happen is you would find that jobs that are supposed to get mowed once a week by the game engine would start to appear more often and be essentially unmowable. So just a reminder, if you do notice that, it is it is by design. I realize that three would be more ideal for your earning capacity. So in short, I think it's a good idea to add more team members, but it would be something that I think would make sense when more locations are added to this game down the track. Anyway, that's my take on these new patch notes, some ongoing issues, and some general points that might help you play whether you're on Xbox or PC. If you like our content on Lawn Mowing Simulator, please like and subscribe. Join us on the Twitter, which is at Lunar Universe. Love to say hello. And of course, as I said earlier, jump in the Discord to meet and greet all the players for Lawn Mowing Simulator. I'm Ogaz for Lunar Universe, and I'll see you marvelous mowing minions out in the fields next time. Until then.